Okay, we've got Benghazi, we've got the IRS situation, and we've got the Justice Department checking out the Associated Press, maybe not in the way they should. Conservatives are trying to push the conspiracy side of this, the scandal side of this. Uh, let me tell you something, conservatives, and I'm one of you, but there's no scandal here. There's no conspiracy in any of this. The federal government, especially government employees and politicians, are just not intelligent enough to plan out stuff like this. No, it speaks more loudly to a couple of areas. One is the culture of government employees and politicians, and also a severe lack of leadership from the president. The Benghazi thing, you know, all those emails they talked about, I mean, think about it. All that showed was two departments, the State Department and the CIA, pretty big groups. Obviously, truth is not an issue for them. That's what I learned from that. Conspiracy, forget about it. It's just a culture where truth is not important. You look at the Associated Press and their challenges with the Justice Department. It just shows that the Justice Department sees that their motives or their interests are bigger than maybe the law more important than anything else in the world. And they're willing to let go a few legal things to make sure they get done what they want done. And then you take the IRS situation. Again, it just shows government employees, at least some, feel like they can do anything they want to do to carry out whatever it is their political view is or for whatever reason it was being done. And so again, it's just a shading of the areas of the law. It's terrible. It's just terrible. But the worst problem of all is that our president, Barack Obama, and I believe the most important thing for a president to have, even, even more than a Harvard Law degree, even more than to be considered academically intelligent, I think the president of this country needs to show leadership, number one. And instead of every time one of these things comes out publicly, and we see where another department is screwing up stuff. Instead of coming out and saying, hey, I'm, I'm way up here as president, I, I get the news like you from the newspaper, so this is all new to me. So you know what we'll do? We're gonna set up a task force and get to the bottom of this. We'll, get, we'll find some answers here. What is that? You know what, Mr. President? We need leadership and we need to change the culture that is just going crazy within the government ranks. For God's sake, you are CEO of the largest organization in the country, has more employees than Walmart, double the number of employees in the federal government. You are the CEO. I mean, can you imagine what would have, would have happened if Bush, say Abu Ghraib, when those pictures and that crazy little scandal happened. Can you imagine if Bush had gotten up and said, I, I, I just saw that in the paper like you, I knew nothing about that. Mr. President, here's what you should do right now. You should call into the White House, have a big meeting, give some beers and dinner to IRS executives, not the political appointees. I'm talking about the people who are career government employees who lead that mess. And you need to grab them by their collars and say, this is not going to happen under my watch. I will fire any one of you that ever shows the least bit of favoritism to these people. They need to see he is upset. He doesn't need to make that public to us. Do it to them. And then pull in the State Department, the EPA, the education. Go through all of them. He needs to set the tone for what is happening from his employees. Instead of saying, oh, yeah, I'm reading it from the newspaper. Mr. President, it's time for you to show a little bit of leadership.